Alright, so for my last uh, video for From, I'm going to be talking about uh, productive love and um, how I think it relates to genders in today's society. So, um, first off, I just <clears throat> I want to start out uh, with a definition for productive love, or at least the aspects. Um, uh, he says the aspects of productive love are um, care, responsibility, respect, and knowledge. Um, and that productive love is something that's uh, a very speci something very specific. Uh, a lot of people uh, use love very generally, and it um, really doesn't have a specific meaning. I mean, you say, you know, you love coffee or you love listening to music, something like that. So that's productive love. And um, another quote, uh, No wonder that motherly love has been a symbol of the highest form of love in art and religion. The Hebrew term indicating God's love for man and man's love for his neighbors is rachamim, rachamim the root of which is rechem which is womb. So, basically, um, and all, I mean, you can see this through other pieces of art and um, religious scripture, but I think this also applies uh, to today's society more so that um, while women have become equated with um, productive love men, uh, that's becoming less and less because in today's society um, it's more promoted to um, treat women like objects I mean not like hitting but um having a lot of uh, sex I mean I'm not saying like sex is a bad thing but like sex like in, in treating the woman as an object and not like not uh, having that productive connection, but basically um, just kind of having control over her. And I think that that's really um, that's really affected society, at least at least uh, at least the general general society, not necessarily, um, you know, specific groups of people. I mean, there are still people who, there are still men who are productively love, but um, one of the things that I think really hurts uh, society um, is that today, like, men really can't, um, can't express their emotions or feelings, and if they do, they're called, you know, weak or you know, you know, pussies or something like that. Um, but I don't think that's being weak. Allowing yourself to you know open up and express your emotions and feelings is something that takes a lot of strength, and um, something that I think From would really agree with. And if From were here in today's society, I think he would be very critical of um, what's happened to the general male population because I mean this his idea you know of productive loving and you know being mode of loving you know like in that having or being has really um, I think demolished within the last 10 years and I think a lot of that has to do with media um, and music too uh, if you if you listen to music uh, today versus music in the '60s, I mean, what was popular in the '60s, like you know the Beatles, "I Want to Hold Your Hand," um, versus today, you know, "I Want to Take You Into a Dark Alley and um, Do Stuff with You." I'm not gonna say things that are, but you you understand what I mean. So, yeah, that's why that's why I believe.